Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair but let's enough. see which team will find their place here on Abyss as we have Fnatic kicking things off on this attacking side. Yeah, this should be really interesting. I mean, a lot to kind of read into the way DRX likes to play this. Buzz once again on top of that box at B, the same as we saw in the pistol round against Crew. And this time around, though, they've got Foxy9 to try to cover this angle. A jiggle peek, and Buzz gets the first kill. Buzz able to find that first. Blood Chronicle going to be taken out. He's looking for the second, but we'll just go ahead and tailwind away. Unable to nail the shots there. Durka still at full HP. Suppress here for the moment, and does actually get a tag there. Buzz going to be down to 70. Right, but because of this Yoru, you take a lot of extra space. Bane challenging, got Durka down to 45. Both are able to find one. Bane now going to be eliminated straight out here. The Soba's gone, but... Plant still not coming in. The spike still needing to cross the gaps. Coming through now from Boaster. Passed over. He'll tuck back. His plant handed over here towards Durka. Paranoia crashing across. Able to get the connection there onto the Yoru, but they cannot try to capitalize. No, Buzz does. Managing to find him. Second kill here for the Jet. For now, the man advantage in the hands of DRX. Nano Swarm just landed. Delaying a little bit. Delays a bit. Can't start the hold to half here as Buzz eating a little bit more damage. This Fnatic just going to be trying to buy as much time as they possibly can. Still going to be dumped. The hold coming through. Foxy9 body blocking. There's the grab. Well, pulling Mako off. They still have not gotten this one. Up to half. The poke and prod hero going to be good to take down the enemy. Omen flashback just trying to stay tucked away as Buzz tries to keep them in this one. But hero. Near impossible to get this defuse with the setup that Fnatic can bring. And really heavy purchases here from Fnatic. Still going to have two pistols, but Sheriff and Ghost. Plenty of firepower still there alongside these three Vandals. As DRX have gambled on A, and that is not where they are. <laughs> that is not where Fnatic are at. Lost that gamble, but you know what? That's A-OK. -okay. And here for the side of Fnatic, you know, Boaster and Hero can do a lot of the heavy lifting in this round. Since they've just got the pistols, those you, you can afford to throw over. So you can have a full rifle buy into the bonus. Plant going to come down. Very similar scenes, and now let's see what exactly DRX wants to do. Most likely, trying to find ways to die without giving orbs over to Fnatic. Yeah, especially once they realize what kind of firepower is there. Maybe one person get taken down here. And then look to try to tuck back his hero, looking to scale up into mid. Says, well, I don't just have a ghost, so if I can go backstab and get even closer to this Viper's pit, then that's going to be all right with me. He's being watched here for the moment, and now they will note him. Quick little swing out. They're going to look for the challenge. The swoop forward and Buzz able to find that one. Grabs the ghost here. Chance maybe to do a bit more damage, but he himself still tagged down to 40. As the spike will get rid of the detonate. So it's just going to be a full five man sacrifice here on the side of DRX, and Fnatic move up to 0. Yeah. He's really been good in those moments. He's done a great job of holding angles, knowing when he has to back off, taking fights when he can, catching his opponents a bit off guard. But now that Fnatic's had a bit more time to take a look at some of the tape from DRX. How are they going to be ready? Last time around, they let this angle go unchecked from Buzz. No util to clear it. Let's see if there's going to be a different... Yep, they're going to use the drone and a flash. Very nicely done. Yeah, right into the face. Doesn't have that updraft available either, so can't just re try to reposition up and have a jiggle peek there from Bane. Going to be punished. Supposed to find the shot. Foxy9 at the same time. Able to find Hero. And Buzz on the peek out. Ooh, will take down Poster. But now, Durka answering back, keeping some parity here between the numbers. CP's forward. Plant now coming in. Critically allowing for that kill to come through means that that trap wire not going to find value. Couple shots in. Buzz going to be good for a second. Yes, it's now just Chronicle and Alfier, who's since picked up that offer to try to hold things down. Oh, nice. The fragment in. Alfie able to find one, and already this is dicey here for the side of DRX. Mako does manage to find Chronicle, but now they know that the op is in play. The flick shot not going to connect, but somehow Alpha is able to tuck back. Gets himself out to safety. Buzz just holding the hard angle. The peek in. Buzz up over the top. Making sure he can't get legged. We'll find a third kill. And that won't be DRX getting on the board. But they do lose their okay. Because A, first time in your debut in the map, as you said. But you also are so close to being able to get that bonus conversion, which right. will give you such a fantastic snowball effect. That being said, though, Durka does have the ult ready to go. Going to be suppressed here for the time being. So they know what side of the map he's on. So the dimensional drift comes into play. One thing I also really like about this comp for Fnatic versus the way DRX likes to play this map is that it gives you a lot of ability to control space in mid with the Astra and the Viper, potentially. Uh, you can really make DRX's ability to sort of get those free picks through mid that they have been really good at nailing. You can see Buzz right now. He's currently watching it with the op. Alpha's over there as well. Flashback going to be using that Cypher cam to keep his eyes onto B, but 
you have that extra layer of control there for Fnatic to gain a little bit of extra mid space. Something that has given teams that have played DRX on this map a lot of discomfort. And I'm really curious now. Flashback was absolutely nuts on this map against Crew. Is he going to be able to dial up another crazy performance? Buzz getting aggro. Stomping across the site here. Going to be met with that flash, and that's going to be the tailwind burn. But now Durka does find himself in this site. Spike plant coming through. It's ultimately Jesus. burning that potential alt charge, but now the mask will come on. Buzz trying to play elusively. Drops down. Just continuing to watch this wider angle. As it's oh. a big wraparound over towards heaven here. Up in the tower, rather. Here for Durka. Head going to be spotted out. The pop flash to turn from it. The decoy going to be sent. Not cleared, but Mako dead. Can make things a little bit more complicated, but Bane's able to find two. Lineup's now starting to come in as Buzz is able to hold that defuse down to half, but he eats quite a bit of damage now down to 58. Pop flash from Foxy9. Swing onto the corner. Albier going to be good for it. Buzz right back in onto the spike. Can they get there in time? There's the setup on the star. The gravel coming through. He cannot scope in. The turret is set up, and Buzz is going to have to back away. Oh, can't quite hit that shot. Does get one parting gift in Alfier and will die to the spike, but Omen Paranoia aren't going to be as effective here. You're going to have to find ways to get into Fnatic's back line to disrupt them. <laughs> we'll leave uh, Durka at the moment watching in case Buzz was going to be going for a smoggy play. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Yep. Covering all the angles, but as we can see, Buzz posted up here in mid, reinforced by Mako. It's a little bit further behind, but widely, these knives, that's the big punch, the only real punch that DRX have, aside from a singular sheriff in the hands of Flashback. And losing that operator due to the spike in the previous round, certainly hurting DRX's odds here. No doubt about it. Buzz now starting to push through. You do have the turret to check. And Buzz can hear it. They're going to use a dart to clear a little bit of space. Fnatic now starting to make their way towards B. Just Foxy9 there currently. Oh, there's the watch, but Buzz still going to be good for two before getting taken down. A very solid value found. He's continuing to do some damage, at least stop the snowball of the economy here. Let's push up into the smoke, Foxy9. On plus by it, pushes out, gets a smattering of damage across on the Durka. Cannot find that kill. Both are now watching a quick <laughs> peek of the shoulder there from Bane, who has to back away. I love the way they're Marco. using this Yoru. Slinking in from behind. Recovers that weapon, able to find one. Gives them a fighting chance as Dirk uh, gonna be taken down. Flashback with a headshot, putting that Sheriff to good use. Now Alpha all on his lonesome. If you can find the two kills, that'll be locked down for the next round as Bane caught unawares. Set up here. Double Nanos on top, but the headshot comes through. Nanos don't mean a damn. Flashback will get them over the finish line. With his second kill of the round, second round win for DRX as they go ahead and pick up a thrifty. Yeah, and this is the patience that you need to see from DRX EP right to the back site. That's another thing DRX might want to consider checking. I mean, but going into this one, Durka does have that phantom in hand. He's one away from having that next dimensional drift online. If there was ever a setup to be able to try to get yourself a back-to-back -back thrifty win, this would be it for Fnatic, because they have that lockdown. They're one away from that dimensional drift as well as the Viper's Pit. Buzz, though, going to look to try to deny them the opportunity, but first up shot going to be going wide. He gets tagged down to 88. Recon up over the top, the spot of the leg. Able to find Hero. Buzz on the repeat, taking down Chronicle. But he's just stuck here in the smoke, and Durka, it's easy enough for him to collect. As soon as that suppression is gone, he can just go ahead, slap the mask on face. Pushing forward, though, Foxy and Bane, two-man firing squad. Able to find one apiece here before Bane gets taken down. The flash is gorgeous in the back of the site, and that is... ...so far for DRX. Now let's see. Ain't something to cheer for <laughs> after the opening series. <laughs> I mean, it was still very close. There it was. was still a lot to cheer for, just didn't end probably <laughs> the way they wanted. Well, now, lockdown still available. And that pit at the ready. But Null Command, Neural Theft, Hunter's Fury, plenty of util available here to the side of DRX to try to gain the lead for themselves. Yeah, and they've got all the kind of tic-tac-toe counters to what Fnatic wants to do. Yeah. You have the Hunter's Fury, you have the Neural Theft in case they Viper's Pit. You know, who knows with the Null Command, that can be used in a lot of great situations. You get a good read on where the attack's oh, going to be. Oh, Mako. The timing from Mako. Catching Hero unawares. The Assault here on the A side still going to be coming through. Cam able to get the ping out, though, onto one. Boaster just trying to hightail it out. As Flashback now, Neural Theft going to be in play as he pushes up into the Cyber Cage. The so Reveal getting ready to come in. Spam across. Not too much going to be found there onto Alphier, but he's able to dodge out. That Shock Dart. And now Fnatic are in such a rough position. Turret still available to him, I do believe. 
seconds. That would note seconds. this position, but Buzz doesn't push far enough forward. Now he says, guys, I've got the spike. This is just what this mid control that DRX likes to establish on this map does to you. It makes it so difficult to go anywhere. You have to fight tooth and nail to get into these sites sometimes. This is going to be one of those rounds and certainly looking like it's going to be a save at this left. point for Fnatic. Yep, and I'll just have to stay set back. And all it takes is those little plays like Mako did here. A lot of times it's been players like Bane and Buzz doing a girly to kind of establish control. And this time around, a knife to try to check. Fnatic does end up backpedaling, but once again, Buzz this time pushed up. Yeah, different a angle. Further forward, yep. But the drone still will clear. Should be cleared fast by. Fast enough clear. Yep, okay, Foxy and has to go for the repeat to be able to get it. Okay, crash now, working its way forward. The first shot, not going to connect. It's just trying to see if he can suss it out. Knife to go ahead and clear out that TP. He's not falling for the bait here on the fake out. Couple shots flying through. Durka Krauts able to avoid that damage. But for now, the Null Command widely just keeping them locked in position, but Fnatic looking to play this patiently. That's great there. Buzz able to take out that TP from Durka. That's been a real pain point for DRX early on in this map. Here comes that Cosmic Divide right across the B site. Paranoia gonna be sent out here, gonna be forced back. Foxy9 gonna be taken down low, tries to survive here. It looks like for the time being, Will. As Buzz gets set up on the angle. Final tag, getting a connection there. Zelfier knocked down to 45, and for now, things gonna be stagnant as somehow Foxy coming away with that kill. Gets that a limb. Alpha able to trade one back as Mako will fall, but Durka and Alpha, they're widely just stuck in place. All four remaining members of DRX, they are here, and Puzz is not missing his shots right now. Durka seemingly just gonna have to go for a save once again. Not enough time at this point to get to the other side of the map. Ten seconds left. The idea behind that Cosmic Divide is to cut off all the angles from the link, from heaven, for DRX to be able to cover it. The problem is, is Foxy9 and Buzz already have One crucial opening, one pick. And a round can absolutely spiral out of control. Slow start. Some smoke sent down mid from both squads. Fnatic has that Viper Orb on the top ledge. Making it a little bit difficult, potentially, for DRX. I'm already seeing a ping towards the vent, just having to maybe be cognizant of it. I think that camera, that flashback has, should cover that angle. And now Bane even sliding on back, but no contact found. And the week by, Fnatic trying to find a way to get back into a site, to get that spike down, and to get back into the comfort of this comp. Slow going. Three players hovering in this position. Zero point going to be going out, and that catches on to four, denying the drone as well. Smoke from Mako to come through, and this is going to force a reroute here from the side of Fnatic. Mid still being watched by Bane, but he loses out the fight. Alfie able to find an opening there. But Mako answering back in kind, finds one, suspects the forward player, and is able to take down Boaster. Swings back around. You know, widely just stuck in behind the poison orb. Smoke on the main, but the re-hit here onto the B site about to come through, but Foxy and Buzz, they have lingered. They're still here to try to fight back. Swing onto the corner, and Buzz is so damn ready for it. Ten seconds left. And Chronicle now, just the time is not gonna be there. The spike is gonna be stranded, and Hero is still just trapped, pinned over in mid. No opportunity for the backstab. That lead grows now by maybe Buzz just spending an immense amount of time in aim labs. Hanging out with Jimmy Lin, learning how to hop. <laughs> but uh, it's been incredible from him. Man knows when he can fight his angles. <laughs> that he does. Once again, though, slow going here from the side of Fnatic, and it just seems like that that confidence to just go for a fast pacey hit has not been there because DRX has been pushing up back against them so very well. But now, speed about to get ramped up a bit. Lockdown going to come into play. It's like widely waiting. See what the response looks like here on the opposite side. They know there's no Hunter's Fury to try to clear this out. Ultimately, DRX just gonna have to give that space up. And this is gonna be tough for DRX now. Oh, the ping reveal and flashback. Oh. Able to strike, finds that kill. Bane was covering fire, takes down Hero. Lingering his way into back sight. The cleanup is swift, but Alphier punching back a bit. Finds one, tap onto the plant, Chronicle. 
hunting for that elimination, but Bane shuts down those hopes and dreams, and Alpha once again is gonna be the last man standing, and he's completely and utterly surrounded. Bane with a big round. As as that sounds, that is a huge win condition for DRX on this defender side, and they have really started to snowball seven or six in a row, six in a row. Shock to try to clear out some of this util, but widely everything being missed here so far. Just watching that drone. Dart at the ready, sent, push forward. There's the ping reveal. Catching on the two flashback, does get taken down though. Dark able to find one, Bane dropping out of that B tower. Finds one before falling. Now, for the first time in a long time, the man advantage is there. Pop flash gonna be sent, looking for the interrupt. Foxy eventually able to stabilize that aim to take down Chronicle, but Alpha is able to trade him back out. Now it's Buzz on his lonesome. The mask goes on, the dimensional drift on the hunt, trying to spot out Buzz's position. Eventually, we'll just TP back over into A main here. This buzz not wanting to look like a fool. Dashes forward. Op still in hand. A shot ringing out. Hearing Alpha in above him. Knows now that it's clear. But where are the others? Seeking target. Swinging forward, making a bit of noise here. Has to be suspicious still about tower, maybe even the wraparound from behind. Pushes up left side and cannot find the shot. Durka with 40. Once again, with that op, over towards the B side. Pretty double stack op. It's Foxy yeah. picking oh, up Fox one as well. Oh, going too, you're right. Yeah, so double op set up for that B side. Oh, goodness. Likely does have a backup rifle just in case things get a little bit hairy, but ultimately, the defenders here on this A side just want to try to drive those players over to that B hit. Make them fall for it, make them fall into that trap. From so there, far. it does come down to them connecting their shots. Yeah, exactly. But so far, Fnatic is really doing a good job of not kind of falling for any of DRX's trickery until now. Paco is on such a deep push forward. That timing is Hunter's so good. Hunter's Fury opened up. Chronicle on the hunt, finding Foxy9, looking for a little bit more. Won't be able to get it. But Mako very much implanted here in this forward spot, but he's got to be on a swivel as there's Hero swinging around, and this time he gets the better of him. The timing on his side. Two-man advantage here for the side of Fnatic is once again, they're gonna start working their way in towards A, and Flashback has to be the one to try to hold the line. Couple shots coming through, just looking for that grab combo into the Nano Swarm. Unable to find it. Tap of the plant, not for the hold. Forward position though, and Bane is not ready for that, but Flashback answering. Finds two. Buzz trying to scope in, cannot find it, and would have to be an ace clutch now for Flashback to get them this 8-4 and four score line. The push forward, Hero with the short, it will put him down. A lot of smokes, a lot of ways that you can get trapped in corners, at choke points, trying to get through towards the site. So I think, again, mid control going to be relatively important for DRX throughout. And they are already somewhat considering the same. Gonna take a peek. There is a turret out there, it gets cleared. Here. Bane just able to get rid of that recon here, not allowing for the ping to go through. Widely no information given over here, just a bit of noise being made in mid. As Fnatic realizing, okay, we've given up a lot of space, this flank could be coming through. Just have to rotate around. And they would be right as the push gets ready to come in. It's just are they gonna have enough forces to stop this. Oh, oh my god, well, snappy headshot from Bolster oh, and Chronicle yeah, with a two-piece. Finds Foxy and Flashback Bane now gonna be taken down as this looks to be a flawless unless Mako has something to say about it. A couple players worked low, plenty of footsteps being made. Finds the headshot, oh, falls for the fake out. Not gonna get punished yet as he jumps across over onto the rope. Drops down, rides back up, the swing now coming through. Nearly ends up falling down after losing some of that momentum, but it's snappy with a follow-up. Pulls back away, concussed here for the moment. Mako putting up a solid effort, but ultimately is still in such a rough position. And even make it in time, he's gonna go ahead, go for the sprint. Rushing through, Chronicle there to intercept. Cannot stop him on the drop down, but can certainly swing in. He's gonna try to go for the knife, no. Push up into the smoke and will be able to deny the plant. Unflappable in terms of his just happy. Cheeriness. Yeah, his cheeriness, his energy. Such a, such a nice kid. And now, DRX on an eco, all classics, nobody buying up to anything. 
couldn't even get that plant down. Guardian Bulldog, Vandal for Durka. Similar to what we saw from Fnatic in their previous anti-eco, except a few buy downs compared to the last one. DRX doesn't like what they see. Just gonna immediately hightail it over, leaving Flashback behind. Has that lurking player. See if they can break through Boaster on the A side. Boaster alone here for now. Grab the orb. Fast track towards this Hunter's Fury here from Bane. Three charges thus far. Splash on the corner at the ready as Chronicle now gets himself situated up in tower. And looks like we're going to be playing a little bit of back and forth there. Pendulum swinging. Don't like what they see on the A side. And let's go back over to B. Flashback. He's pushed in decently deep. I think he got Could spotted. catch somebody off guard, maybe. I'm pretty sure he got spotted there on the cross. At least wary about it. If nothing else, Fnatic have been very good about identifying what space they've given up, but Flashback nearly finding two with a classic in hand. Stink might not going to be going through. Buzz going to be taken down. Durka able to find that. Three players left standing. And CRX just looked to try to see if they can do any real damage here. Flash going to be sent down. Swing onto the corner. Durka eventually able to find his mark, but Bane does put down a hero. Any more deaths from here, and that would be costly for the side of Fnatic, but so far they will be able to hold on to their weapons. The ones that matter. And as the defuse comes in, they will tie us up at 7 to 7. RX, see what the game plan looks like for now. Is your point going to be sent out? Nothing noted there. Three players set up, though, on this A site. Already that deep cam middle from flashback gives them a ton of info to work with across this map. Gives them a little bit more comfort to try to lurk. Maybe set up for a crunch through the vents. Try to come in through the other direction. There is that turret there from Alpha towards B-Link. Shocked are there, not trying to clear, yeah, not connecting, trying to clear that KJ util. That might have been part of what Termi was talking about. Uh, sending some info over to Bane, identifying where he was noticing some of that utility may have been placed that they could try to clear early to give them a little bit more flexibility. Flashback though, quite far forwards, ready to break this door. Chronicle taking a peek at it here for a brief little moment. Decides to tuck back. I'm worried about that really deep push coming through. Paranoia going to be sent across. Chronicle able to dodge that. A little bit of spam. Certainly alerting and letting them know that he is in this position. Boaster in the meantime, stuck here in this nebula. Decides to swing out, puts a little bit of damage down, but ultimately will end up falling. This Buzz fishing here at back site, spamming into that smoke here. Just trying to see what he can get. So far, though, it's just going to be a spike plant coming through from DRX. Five members here in the post plant. Something really simple there from Mako. Paranoia into a smoke to set up <laughs> the hit here for DRX to clear out the tower. I have no tower control though. Retaking from this position is going to prove to be a bit difficult, oh. especially as Buzz does that. Turns back, Foxy does still fall. Hero able to find that elimination. Double setup though in towers. Bane could end up dying. He does. Alpha. Oh, a quick peek in. But then shut down. Flashback coming over the kill. The double push off the weapon scoop up there from Hero. It looks like the call to just save, all, save these two rifles has been made. DRX are going to be regaining the lead. No, oh, this is just a really well thought out round from start to finish for DRX. Unchallenged in. Bring us back to a tied up score line. Two Bulldogs gonna be in play, but we've seen plenty of teams put those to good use. Oh, you just caught two there. You caught Durka and Chronicle off that knife from Foxy9. So now you're gonna maybe wanna try to test this defensive setup with the Viper and the KJ, but Durka, of course, is a Yoru, he can very quickly get around the map if needed. So DRX taking their time on this. Dark cleared. Trying to see if they can find that pick, find that extra layer to get in towards the site, but Fnatic not giving them any opportunities. Yeah, now again. it's going to be just a spread of the map again. Yeah, calls being made. I mean, Boaster in a far forward position here at main. Kind of needs to win out this fight. And his noise gets caught. And, okay, he's able to back away. Himself out the safety, and then Mako seemingly going to make the call. Like, okay, actually, let's go B instead. Chronicle's already used all of his info gathering utility, so now Boaster needs to use his body to go do that <laughs> to make sure. Uh, Shock Dart not going to find the bounce there on the Bane. Chronicle just trying to use that last bit that he had until that recon comes back up to try to get a punish there. Oh, Bane on the here. droning sofa, but there's the entry coming through. Buzz up over the top. Absolutely dead to rights. Alpierre was grinding him into a paste. But critically, Bane was able to keep enough players distracted over on the A side, give them a little bit of extra room to get through, but man advantage for Fnatic on this retake. Are they gonna be able to clear past DRX's defense? Still have a fragment, a shock dart here to try to set up for the post plant, but you don't have that 
You know, that Viper, that vulnerability to try to set up for the kills as easily. Uh, smoke coming through, and oh, Mako hitting the headshot, swings up into the smoke, fires off a couple shots, spots out Durka, finds him as well, swings back in, Hero able to dodge out those bullets. But now, three members standing, Hero, one more pulse will take him down. Flashback Bane just trying to buy some time, and Flashback will be able to do just that. Spots out the last player, knows that he's low, cannot win the fight. The Fnatic cannot get the defuse. Flashback, that's exactly what he wants to do. Oh, he's it's certainly looking good so far. He's definitely a, a contender, no doubt about it. I mean, on the opposite side of the stage, we should also mention Hero, who in just yes. a very short period of time has also proven himself to be phenomenal, absolutely incredible, and very, uh, you know, very much qualified to step into Leo's shoes here. Oh, good for man. now, gummed up on the approach. Well, shots in the box as they try to assess where they want to go for the plan here. Nebula's going to be coming through. It looks like they want to try to use this against Fnatic to be able to safely get that spike planted. They do so. Buzz with the Outlaw still playing forward. Takes a couple shots, goes for the oh. swing, and Alfie are able to put him down. Once again, man advantage going to be there. And Outlaw can be scooped up for them as Foxy, ooh, having to tuck back, nearly getting picked off. Ping gets the reveal. The grab well to try to pull him forward. And Poster on the hunt. Shock Dart will find him, however, as it's going to be a trade out. As Bane also gets Darka. The Fuse out going to be held, covering fire. Alphier shuts it down. The Fuse held to half. The dueling Hunter's Fury is coming through, and Bane loses out on the fight. Now, flashback on his lonesome. Gets a blind shot, but cannot do anything more. The snake bite into the grab well, into a Shock Dart. I mean, just absolutely annoying to deal with. And they, and they convert. They get the kill off the util. Oh, Durka. There's the Jiggle Peak now, they know the Operative's gonna be there, and this Orb take is not gonna be punished, so now he's got that Dimensional Drift online and immediately TP's away. Buzz gonna be noted, they know that there's two players here and he just wants to try to disguise maybe that Vandal as much as possible, but as he draws it out, they'll see it in the silhouette. And once again, DRX starting to line up, flashback. has taken a lot of space, but weak on the weaponry this time. Can watch his back, can wait for the rest of the team, but they're pinging it out, Fnatic. Knows they've given this space up. Knows that it is decently likely that Flashback has taken advantage of it. Yeah, Ping's coming down though, also from the side of DRX. Wary that there could be somebody just on the opposite side of this very flimsy door. This is gonna be tough. Buzz with that hero vandal. He's looking for the entry. The dash forward first off shot gonna be going wide. Chronicle able to find it. There's the ping reveal and Durka wow. ends up getting flushed out, but both are finding one. But Buzz finding a second. Mako at the same time. Gets rid of Chronicle. Op is gonna be scooped up. Buzz says thank you very much. Lockdown available for Alpha here. Does he send it though? In a 2v3, knowing that weapons are recovered. Looks like the answer is gonna be yes. Ops to go for it. The fragment isn't in play. You know, there's nothing to really clear this one out unless Buzz gets on a deep enough line. But now Buzz is out into the open. He's got nowhere to go but down into the depths. Snake bite on the one side to smoke. A bit of a question mark there. There's Alpha going for the defuse. Mako waiting patiently. Here's the retap. Knows that it's up to half. Swings back in and cannot make it happen. Narrow margins. But Fnatic will tie us up. Four that available on the side of DRX. And off is back in hand here for Durka. Well, now you have a ton of volts for DRX. Have that null command. You have the neural theft. If you can find an opening, you might be able to take advantage of it. Now Durka with that op, gonna try to challenge that catwalk that has been given up to flashback a couple times already. Been a bit of a pain point, so need to find a different way to adjust to it. I like this change up from Fnatic. Making sure that that extra angle is going to be that much more difficult for DRX to create. And they're just making sure that this space is clear. I mean, we've already seen a couple times where Fnatic players have pressure towards this orb, whether it be Durko, whether it be Boaster. Oh, TP up. You're in the tower. Well, that's a different Found way to get in Marco. there. As Paranoid is going to go across, won't connect on anybody, but he gets a smoke out, but flashback taken down. Alfie finding that punish here in mid. Knew that he was going to be going for it no matter what. And the patience pays off. Fnatic once again, man advantage. Quick drift across from Bane, spotting out Chronicle's positions. The Null Command now going to be coming through from Foxy9. Shocked out a little bit too deep. Damage not going to be found. And Hero looking to pressure around the back. Another smoke going to be sent. Mako turning his sights back in. Catches a glimpse but cannot catch the shot. 
He gets eliminated as this dimensional drift leads the charge. Bane now in such a poor position, completely and utterly surrounded, doesn't know which way to look. And that is going to be a flawless as Fnatic will gain the lead. Phenomenal retake here from the side of Fnatic. Flawless. Able to give up that space. Neural Theft blades online. Both are just playing forward, more than happy. To eat that null command as he puts, Ma or that's that zero point, I should say, as Mako gets put down to 49 health. Buzz needing to be crispy here on the entry. Up and over the top, the ping reveal coming through, but just tags up Boaster a bit. Looking for that Alim, but now runs out of blades. Just a classic in hand. The side is the RX's, but can they hold it is the question. What a util combo to try to set Buzz up. It almost works. Quick peek out. Jerka gonna be rerouted here. Buzz continuing the jiggle peek, but there's a double wraparound coming through in mid at the moment that he's going to have to try to greet at the door. The push forward. Shot rings out. The blind connecting, and Durka finds his man. Bane going to be taken down. Foxy 9. Snappy with that first headshot. The second as well. But here comes the drop down. Here comes the flood. Mako trying to hold the line. The quick TP. The trap getting the stun. Shots ringing through as they poke and prod. Out of the wall, the time is dwindling, and my god, DRX pull up. Splitative in there. <laughs> like, that's what that round felt like if you were cheering for Fnatic, because it seemed like they had it on lock. It was like my birthday when my mom. Go on. <laughs> put a case of my own CDs in a Nintendo 64 box to bait me into thinking it was a Nintendo 64. I'm not even kidding. That uh. really happened. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That's great. <laughs> it was, in retrospect, pretty darn funny. My friends helped sell it, too. They were all in just, on it. It really hurts when you're a child. Uh, yeah, when I was young, I was pretty upset about it, but now it's kind of funny. I mean, but now, now you know, who gets an N64 at the age of 45? What the F? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, anyway, <laughs> crucial round. Let's focus up here. 10 to 10 on the score line. Dang, man. This B site completely stacked <laughs> with defensive utility. <laughs> I think I've broken him. Oh. Hunter Story, though, Neural Theft still available here for DRX. Pit online, sent. Hero able to get that one through. Recon not going to be pinging out a damn thing as he's just sat here at back site. Alpierre on the jump up and Foxy what? snappy still. Finds that headshot. Jordy in hand, Buzz able to find one to push forward. Hero able to tank down the enemy KO, but the site now broken open. One Chronicle oh, dead back. as Boaster now will have to just go ahead and try to save this weapon. Man, oh man. I mean, that looked like it was going to be difficult. Hero got that pit down just bu just before the zero point arrives. Whip pulls out the shorty, but then DRX just floods into it. No hesitation to make sure he's cleared out. Flashback on that lurk, able to cut down Chronicle as he's coming in towards the site. Really nice stuff from DRX. And they are going to take a lead in what has been a tremendous start once again to another great series between these two teams. I mean, that's the thing. The DRX gaining the lead. It does feel like they really need this win here on Abyss. Oh, yeah, here it's up. A lot of ults again. Kind of the, the trio here. Durka going to get spotted and peace out. You have the Hunter's Fury. Neural Theft and no command. So DRX can take their time, really try to figure out how they want to work the map. This is looking like another A setup, so what's going to be their ideas behind this execute this time? Typically, they've been waiting for some ability to take tower, but the real question is, is how do they get that done? Flashback is watching for a deep lurk, expecting something with those weaker buy from Fnatic to be a little off. getting a bit of deja vu, though. Yep. A site hit coming through. Lower purchase, but didn't have Durka getting timing like that. On the bingo card for the round. Both are going to be spotted out. Bane scaling forward, taking some space, going up over the top. Spots the gun barrel on the one. Swings in, finds Boaster. It's Chronicle the shot going right above Mako's head. Spike planted. A couple strands of hair cut off, perhaps, but kill not found. Is it what? Albion, he failed to jump. <laughs> Trying to wrap around at back sight. At least that's what I, all I have to assume. That's my best guess. Hero silent on the drop down. 20 HP though remaining here for him. As Mako staying quiet within the smoke. Or 
Hope not doing much for him. That's on the opposite side of the map. There's a swing out from Mako. Chronicle, just a marshal in hand. Hearing the rope, hearing these footsteps. Mako wanting that elimination. Foxy gonna be tagged down low, cannot find it. And Chronicle will scoop up a weapon, but he's not gonna be able to get away from this one. DRX half 14 and four. They got two ops again. Yep. I just said that. We might need to get your hearing checked. No, I know, but I mean, I'm just trying to understand it <laughs> with Mako <laughs> picking it up. And Mako he used to be a Jet player. That's true. Once upon a time. He did. This is very unorthodox for DRX. Oh, Ooh. Jiggle Peak Punish not going to be found there. Hero able to get away with his life. And his buns just going to be slowly backing away. Maybe a drone to come through here from Bane, staying in a forward position. Try to continue to bait further rotations towards this B site. Now everybody else from DRX gets ready to stack up on A. They're playing very safe. I mean, I think they're trying to Deploying. hope yep. that somebody will walk yep. out. There's and the bait smoke. Yep. Drone to try to check. Tuck back from Foxy. Nothing spotted over at A main. Do they pull the trigger here on the full rotate? Looks like Fnatic starting to move out. <sighs> TP from Zerka. But now, okay, oh, a sense here. Nothing else came in on the back of the drone. Yep. This hit taking a bit too much time. Durka now in position to try to find value with that operator. Up and over the top here goes Buzz. The flash, however, connects, and Buzz is able to collect. Boaster dead. No idea where Buzz is at as he's right up in their faces. The ping reveal off the narrow depth, spotting them all, and Buzz says, ooh, an operator. Scoops it up off the ground and immediately puts Chronicle six feet under. Looks for the follow-up flick. He cannot make it happen. Still, though, on the hunt, DRX. Two kills away from closing out this opening map. As the shot gonna go wide, a bit too much mo movement there as Hero now pushing forward. Flashback taken down, and Lockdown is in play. Fragment gonna be sent to try and delay. Hunter's Fury is available, but they're actually not sending it, and that might be something that they end up regretting. The Hunter's Fury now open to try to stop any potential planter, and Hero will get taken down, but it's already held to half, and he's just nowhere nearby. alvier has got it, he just stole it away from them all! The four can We'll see though, as we go into this. Zero point this time, not gonna be noting anything. Question is, does that relax DRX about this site? Or does it really concern them? Recon goes out, so they know the Chronicles here as well as the drone. Nothing being cleared on that front as there's a swing out, full flash connecting on the Durka, but Foxy seeing more than enough, backs away. Shock dart towards the corner, but Buzz just out of range of it, able to stay alive. Smoke has to come through. Got a decent amount of utility out of DRX, though, for that exchange. However, Chronicle now sent everything he had just to take that extra space. The thing is, is DRX being pretty quick to rotate over to B. If they can just kind of dial up a good execute here, they could pretty decisively end this round. But Bane going to lead the way with the drone. Smoke goes out to cover heaven. Push coming through, Buzz up and in. Sees that Nano, wants to avoid it. Dashes over to the side, Hero playing forward here. Guardian in hand, spots out one. Finds the kill, Bane gonna be taken down, but Buzz deep, cleans up two. Hero and Alvier both gonna be taken out. The Knives now gonna be popped just in case he needs a backup. There's Buzz, gonna be playing on a deeper angle. Everybody from the side of DRX getting disconnected from the site. Dimensional Drift coming through. Durka seeking target, but none spotted quite just yet. Flash at the ready to pull out. Foxy, wise to it, snaps over, finds a headshot. Diffuse, Diffuse. Up. it's coming in! But Buzz oh. finds the headshot! Through the smoke to deny it away! Fnatic, a whisper away from taking us into overtime, but Buzz had had enough. 13-11, Fnatic fighting tooth and nail. They made it a banger, but it's DRX winning the map. Oh, unbelievable. You better buckle up, people. This is going to be a crazy day. We've got Lotus on the horizon. We'll see that after the break.